So now that the auto industry is ready to go back to work, many wonder what it will look like. Tonight we're getting a better idea based on what General Motors is telling its workforce. Business editor Rob Maloney shows us the intricate plan they've developed to try to keep workers safe on the job. Well, this is the 48-page GM playbook that they're offering to employees. It's called returning to work with confidence, and that's what they know they need to have because they have thousands of people working in a very large space, but oftentimes very tightly together. So how do you deal with that? Well, Alex Calderon, who is a turnaround expert and also auto analyst, says this strikes the right tone. There have been UAW workers who have actually contracted the disease potentially at work and passed away from it. Uh, you have a workforce that is absolutely petrified. GM CEO Mary Barra told employees who were sent this playbook today, quote, in these uncertain times, we must focus on controlling what we can and will continue to take the appropriate actions, end quote. The book takes on much in great detail, starting with risk mitigation, meaning it's working on communication and awareness of the plan, site entry, which includes temperature taking and health interviews, sanitization of high touch places and workspaces. It takes into account physical distancing as well, requiring it when possible, but offering equipment to help when it's not. It spends a lot of time on ventilation and critical supply management and signage. Mara concludes her message to employees by saying, quote, we will live our values and demonstrate our behaviors in order to protect you and our company, end quote. I don't think there's an alternative solution. Uh, perhaps one would be that everyone just wear spacesuits, uh, but, but, but that in and of itself would have other problems. So I think, uh, I, I don't think there's any way around this. I think the world is changing. Of course, when you're dealing with a company the size of General Motors, when you're dealing with a plan this complex, even though you try and think of everything, oftentimes things do slip through the cracks. And so they go back to work come Monday and the following Monday and things will not work in some places. They know this, but they've said that they are flexible and ready to fix anything and change anything that needs to be. In West Bloomfield, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Yeah, okay.